this jaw strike will come back and you're going to thrust right through his solar plexus to end the attack. In this cane self-defense training video, you'll discover why you can't defend yourself with a walking cane and what I want you to do instead. The first reason you can't defend yourself with a walking cane is you're spinning for the wrong reason. Spinning is very good. It's important to build callus on the hands. You use it to get the heart rate up, to go across the body, spatial awareness, timing and distance, brain elasticity, a million other positive reasons. It is not for self-defense. When you start to spin like this to keep somebody back, it makes a lot of sense. Who would wanna walk into that? However, as soon as you hit something, you realize how much force comes back towards you. Now, this is a bag, there's not a lot of force, but when someone's moving into me and I hit that person, that goes flying out of my hand, then I'm in big trouble. Here's what I want you to do instead. Stand your ground and thrust or shove or slash or rake. The second reason why you can't defend yourself with a walking cane is your strikes are weak and ineffective. When you are pulling the hand up this way and you're slicing from here down to here really wide, then you are creating an opportunity for the bad guy to close the distance. And now your arm is hitting them and your cane never even touches them. You need to learn how to strike from your shoulders, keeping the fight always in front of you. Do this instead, striking here, striking here, even using two hands so that you know the cane is always in front of you. The third reason why you can't defend yourself with a walking cane is you haven't adopted the practice of target acquisition training. What that means is you have to immediately ask yourself, what targets can I remove or destroy with my walking cane? That will tell me what techniques to use. Am I gonna take out his eyesight, his ability to see me, his ability to breathe temporarily through the nose, permanently through the throat, his ability to stand upright because I went into that solar plexus, and his ability to catch his breath because when I hit him in the solar plexus, his diaphragm went to a spasm. Or maybe I go between the belly button and the private parts and I hit that thin fascia of muscle which allows him to stand upright. Now he can't come any closer. Maybe I take out those knees, knees so he can't kick or chase me. Asking yourself, what targets can I remove or destroy will always have a different answer. Maybe you're sitting on a bench. Maybe you've been knocked to the ground. Maybe you're coming from the right. Maybe they're coming from the left. Maybe it's multiple attackers. You're always gonna find a different answer and that answer is gonna come in pretty fast and then you can get to work in defending yourself. I'll leave you with four power strike combination. And this is for when you don't have time to get into a better position. Your cane, like you would normally be walking with it, you're simply going to point your hand at the target. Now notice that I'm turning my wrist and I'm not lifting my arm. Turn your wrist, bring it into the other hand. This is going to put it in a very low position. Now this is if that's the best place for you to strike. Often it will be because it's, it's in the center of the body if you're standing up and they're standing up. From here, turn the hand. As you turn the hand, bring the other hand onto it. Now you have a very strong power position. Your first power strike is going to be stepping with your front foot, getting you closer and putting your body in motion as you simply thrust right into that thin fascia of muscle that allows him to stand upright. You're gonna take away his ability to stand. And when you practice this in your head, you're gonna say, or out loud, you're gonna say, groin, every time, groin. You wanna train the brain for that target acquisition practice, and you're gonna say the target, not thrust, you're gonna say groin. Number two, the second power strike, you're gonna bring this into your chest, step in closer, again, front foot first. From here, front foot closer, thrust, like this, right into his throat. So say throat, or maybe you hit the jaw, jaw, whatever it is, hit it as hard as you can. Your third power strike in this combination, after the groin and the throat, you're going to take your left hand and pull it to your left shoulder. It's very important that you don't lift your arm. That gives them too much opportunity to strike you in a compromising way and it also shifts all of the force onto your shoulder. Your shoulders aren't as strong, you don't want it on your shoulder. So you bring your hand in here, this is a very strong position. I'm already close enough, 
All I have to do here is turn the hips to strike the temple or the jaw. Now the final power strike after this jaw strike will come back and you're going to thrust right through his solar plexus to end the attack, to defend yourself. Put in combination, these four power strikes look like this. Now please like and subscribe, leave me comments. Is this helpful? What else do you wanna work on? Need a quantum protector self-defense cane? Check out that first link below. I'll see you on the next one.